seven. That was a nicely done center line. Some resistance in the move off. Movement number two is a six. There was some resistance through the neck in the walk. He was kind of wandering there on the center line. The transition to trot is a seven. It was energetic and supple. Movement number four, the tr working trot is very nice, has a nice cadence and a good long stride. We will give that a seven. Circle is lovely. Let's give it an eight. Down transition is a six. I was pleased with your age. Your horse was just a little bit heavy on the forehand. This is a nice long stride at the walk. We'll give this a six. Movement number eight. We can also give a six. He needs to be a little more relaxed in his stretch into the bit. Your up transition can have a six. Could be a little softer in your hand and more supple through the back. Give this circle an eight. Was a nice bend throughout, a good cadence, and a long, roomy stride. Well balanced. Movement number 11 is also an 8. Nice cadence, well balanced. The transition to walk, I'm going to give that a 7. That was more fluid, better balanced. Your walk down center line is kind of wandering. It was a nice relaxed halt. So movement number 13 will get a seven. Movement number 14 will get a seven. And that completes her ride? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. US, uh, intro two, right? Mm -hmm. Intro test two. Brooke, I like your horse. You'll have to give him to me. Okay, he needs to be a little more submissive in his transition to walk here. We will give that, nevertheless, it was straight and obedient. Give that a six. And the trot and the turn at C, a seven. This is a well-balanced trot. You can see your horse is tracking up, stretched into the bit nicely, and his jaw is relaxed. We'll give the circle a nine. And give this corner also a nine. Good job. Give the transition to walk a nine. You can see the horse stayed stretched submissively into your hand while he lowered his haunches and made a balanced and supple transition into the walk. This was a nice free walk. If you put a little more activity into the walk, it won't be quite so long and wallowy. We'll give the free walk movement number six a seven. And this little bit of walk in the corner, there was some resistance to your hand. We'll give it um, a seven. And the transition up to rising trot, also a seven. This trot is also quite nice, well cadenced, balanced, strides long. Could be a little more submissive in your hand. Sometimes shows a bit of resistance, but I like the stretch and the feel. We will give that whole trot series a nine. Your turn down center line and your final halt um, need a bit of improvement. He, he did get crooked. Just try to think of stretching uh, really tall, using both legs evenly so he doesn't throw his haunches out. We will give movement number, 11, uh, number 10 a seven and the final halt of six.